The door leads to Charter Street. A street drummer has found a spot outside the Napoleon house. Fancy old liquor bottles contribute to the general decor. The Napoleon house is one of the French Quarter's very old, very classic neighborhood bars and restaurants. Gabriel is found here frequently. A small table, recently deserted, holds the remains of someone's dream. Several fine old oils line the walls of the bar. The bar is a 19th century antique in lovingly polished walnut. An unhappy looking man explores the dangers of drinking alone. Gabriel and the bartender are old pals. His name is Stonewall King, and he knows everybody round here. A chandelier casts a dim glow over the room. It's a bust of Napoleon. How apropos. A sharp-eyed gentleman in a gray sports coat hunches over a chessboard chuckling to himself. A man in a loud tie stares morosely at a chessboard. That tabletop has an inlaid chessboard. A young man is deep into conversation with his girlfriend and feeling no pain. A young woman is enjoying drinks with her boyfriend. Hmm, kind of cute. Nah. An old wooden table holds some drinks and an ashtray. Hi, right, how's it going? It's been worse. Business picking up? Some. Mostly locals, as usual. You ever get tired of tending bar for a living? Never thought much about doing anything else. The weather's pretty crappy out there today. I wouldn't know. I'd never get out of here before dark. This looks like a lively crowd. Lively crowds are trouble. These guys just sit and wait. That makes me happy. Hi, how's it going? It's been worse. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. I'm not too busy at the moment. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? <laughs> I don't believe in it myself. I invented a drink once called La Vos too. But it wasn't very popular. Some people do believe, though. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. What do you know about the voodoo murders? It's all over the papers. Some kind of serial killings. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Greatest city in the world. I never want to live anywhere else. Do you know anything about snakes? What about them? Oh, just anything. Man, you ask the weirdest questions. I don't know anything about snakes. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? All I know is it's some kind of voodoo holiday. Does the phrase Cabri sans car mean anything to you? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Oh, then I probably don't know anything about it. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? Sure. She's kind of the patron saint of voodoo in New Orleans. Don't know too much about her, but tourists sure get off on all that stuff. Can you tell me anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Are you kidding? Around here? Hope they aren't serving drinks. Well, if they are, I don't think anyone in his right mind would want one. Do you know anything about animal masks? Come Mardi Gras, you see all kinds of masks in here. Do you know anything about Veves? Never heard of it. Do you know anything about black 
voodoo? Black voodoo? Nah. I prefer not to think about that kind of stuff personally. Crime, perversion, weirdos. <laughs> this makes me depressed. Have you ever heard of a Schutten Jaeger? Never heard of it. Tell me about yourself. A good bartender listens to other people's life stories without telling his own. Tell me about yourself. A good bart... What can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd? The ones you see are mostly regulars. That guy and girl in the corner come here a lot. When they're not fighting, they're all over each other. In other words, they're in love. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. They played every day for 20 years. Sam, the one with the purple jacket, he's lost every one of those games. It's not that he's a bad player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. By the way, Sam, the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about spells and gree gree and stuff. Really? Thanks. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? I'd call you a regular, Gabe. And one of our local writer celebrities, too. Been coming in here, what, 10 years now? Mm, don't remind me. We're still waiting for that best seller. Don't hold your breath. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? That's about all I can say about this crowd. Tell me about the street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they get pretty monotonous sometimes. You know, like that drummer right outside. They say there's been a drummer outside Napoleon House since the day it opened. I like drums, but this character really gets on my nerves. It sounds like the same thing over and over. I just want to say, enough already. Sounds like my life. Tell me about the street musicians around here. Don't know what else I could say. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? Well, about 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl he was in love with. He went to a voodooine and had her make him a love charm. It was a little pouch that he had to bury under the girl's front porch. Well, he buried the pouch, and the next day, he went up and talked to the girl. And, sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife. <laughs> Poor guy. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? That's about all I can remember. Got a second, Sam? It's about your game. I don't have a game. That's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I'm gone, you bastard. I never needed a cheat yet, young loser. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? This is a powerful voodoo oil. Ah, go on. Really? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Marcus? Using voodoo? That old best? Pitiful, isn't it? Uh, let me see that bottle. Oh, this looks authentic. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a Pim's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. How much you think I'd have put him here? Careful, you don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. But there's no such thing as too much. Now stand back. Come on already, I'm ready to chat me. We'll see about that Mr. Smarty Big Mouth. Ha! 
Checkmate! <laughs> Checkmate, you bastard! Son of a bitch! Twenty years I've been waiting to say that! Checkmate, checkmate, checkmate! <laughs> you are the biggest butthead Sam Singleton that I ever met! Checkmate! You... You... You can just put this chessboard where the sun don't shine! Hallelujah, I did it! Yippee! Nice game. Nice game. Hell, I was brilliant! Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. We've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you come to Sam, you hear? Will do. Could you do anything with this? What is this? A clay mold? Hmm... Well, I am a jeweler, you know. And I owe you one. Would you like me to cast this for you? Hmm... If you can. You got it, pal. Actually, it'll be a pleasure to get my tools out first time in years. I've been too busy playing that goddamn game. I'll have the bracelet tomorrow. Meet me here. Great, thanks. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. Excuse me, I'm going inside. Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm afraid St. George's is closed for the day. I'm not a customer, I'm here to see the owner. Why don't you just leave your name and number with me, and I'll tell him you stop by. Listen, if Gabriel is here, he'll want to see me. Is he here? Really couldn't say for certain, but in the morning... Gracie, say goodnight. Ugh! You came. I didn't think you would. I didn't think I would either. Your eyes. Mm. Oh, I could show you around a little. It's not much, but... Please, don't. I couldn't focus on much of anything right now. Yeah, I know. God, what is it about you? Just shut up and kiss me. You're not speaking to me this morning? Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfish at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published a part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. Have it your way. Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah. He gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away.
Today's newspaper is on the counter. Times Picahune, dated June 21st, 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. He scans it quickly. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. What case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were the result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good. It's ridiculous. What about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel. But if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, despite his disgust. Death walks close to you today. Resist temptation. Lest his eye fall on you too. Peachy. It's a newspaper clipping from the year 1810. The newspaper clipping doesn't need to be open. The newspaper clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. It includes a rough sketch of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed Veve. See you later. Don't hurry back on my account. Sam, my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy watching him squirm through every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name. Sam's replica of Madame Kazunu's snake bracelet looks just like the original. That object does not open. There's no writing on the bracelet.